Hello, my dear students and viewers. Welcome to my channel, Scorpio Class. As you all know, we have started with a series of videos in which we are getting up all the important questions from Class 9 Social Studies Syllabus. So here we are with Chapter 2 of History, India from 6th to 14th century. And from this chapter, all the important questions will be uh, brought up here in this video, which will be shared along with you all. And this will help you all to prepare for your examination. And if you want all the other chapters, important questions to prepare for your examination, the link will be shared in the I button above. You can click and watch the all the chapters, important questions. So now let's get started. But before that, if you are new to my channel and watching my video for the first time, to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get the notification of all the upcoming videos. So let's get started. And in this uh, lesson and in this video, you'll get to say the objective type questions from this chapter and also the long question answers. So let's start with fill in the blanks. The first one is here. The founder of Gurjara Pratihara Rajput dynasty was Dash. Answer is Harichandra. Next, Prithviraj Chauhan defeated Dash in the first battle of terrain. Answer is Muhammad Ghori. Next, the chief commander of Muhammad Ghori was Dash. Answer is Kutubuddin Aibak. Next, the first woman to rule among the Delhi Sultans was Dash. Answer is Razia Sultana. Next, the famous Sultan of the Kilji dynasty was Dash. Answer is Alauddin Kilji. Next, the capital was shifted from Delhi to Dash during the rule of the Tughlaq. Answer is Devagiri. So these are some of the objective type questions which are important from this chapter which could be asked in your exam and this can also be converted or twisted into one mark question and asked as a one mark uh, subjective question. Okay, so now let's move on to the next uh, part that is long answer type questions and the first one is here. List the important rulers of Karkutas of Kashmir. Answer, Durlabaka, that is Pratapaditya. Next is Chandrapida, that is Vajraditya. Next, Tarapida, that is Udayaditya. Muktapida, that is Lalita Ditya. These were the important rulers of Karkotas of Kashmir. So this could be either asked in one mark or two mark type. If it's one mark, you can write any two rulers name. And if it's for two mark, you could write all the four names. So let's move to the next one. Describe in brief the administrative system under Altamash. Answer. Altamash divided his kingdom into provinces known as Ikta. And to oversee the administration, he appointed Provincial officers called Iktadars. He appointed a group of 40 Sardars to advise him in the matters of administration and justice. The Prime Minister and the judges were advisors to the Sultan. Altamash brought gold and silver coins into circulation. He completed the construction of Qutub Minar, which was started in Qutubuddin Aibak's time. Next question. What are the administrative reforms of Alauddin Kilji? So these are categorized into two types. So these, those are military reforms and economic reforms. So under military reforms, defense minister look after the appointment of soldiers, their training, arms and ammunition, horses and payment of salary. Practice of stamping of horses was also bought, bought in practice. Okay, so these were the military reforms. Next, economic reforms. The essential commodities like pulses and cereals, edible oil, 
sugar, salt, cloth and others, prices were fixed with minimum profit. The traders were directed to sell products at controlled rates. Sahana A. Mandi, higher officer, controlled the markets. Okay, so these were two reforms which were made by Alauddin Kilji. This were administrative reforms. So let's move to next one. What are the administrative reforms brought in practice by Muhammad bin Tughlaq? So again, we have four points here. So first is revenue reforms. Muhammad bin Tughlaq compiled a detailed record of land taxes pertaining to land holdings. He established the Department of Agriculture. Uncultivated land was utilized for farming and other purposes. Next point is shifting of his capital. Muhammad bin Tughlaq shifted his capital from Delhi to Devagiri in Madhya Pradesh. Third point, practice of symbolic coins. Muhammad bin Tughlaq had gold and silver coins made according to the prevailing price. He bought into circulation gold coins called dinar and silver coins called adali. After some years, he brought in copper and brass symbolic coins into circulation. Next fourth point is Deccan policy. Muhammad bin Tughlaq carried on his administration in the areas he had conquered in the Deccan. Okay, so these were the different administrative reforms brought in practice by Muhammad bin Tughlaq. Let's move to next question. Give an example for the contributions of the Delhi Sultans to art and architecture. Answer. The Delhi Sultans introduced a new style of architecture known as Indo-Islamic. Arches, domes and minarets form the main features of this style. The Delhi Sultans constructed forts, mosques, palaces, public buildings, madrasas and chaltries. Examples of Indo-Islamic style are Kuwatul Islam Mosque, Qutub Binar, Alay Darwaza, and Jamati Khana Mosque at Delhi. Okay, so this is the answer for fifth one. Next, let's go to the next question. And the question is about the map. Identify the Rajput kingdoms in the map of India. So this can be one such question which could be asked for two or three marks depending upon the paper pattern you have. And here are the kingdoms of Rajput which you will have to mark it in the Rajput uh, according to the Rajput kingdoms uh, availability or the positions you have to mark it in the map so here you can see the places like sulanki parmar chohan then gharwala pratihara and chandela these were some of the rajput kingdoms so either the name would be mentioned in the map to be marked or if it's asked like this upon depending upon the marks you can mark it so you can also take help of map work from this video for the rajput kingdoms Okay, so with this map work question, we come to an end with all the important questions of this chapter. I hope this video was helpful and it will help you to prepare for your exams. So if you want more such videos from all the chapters of social studies, do comment in the comment section and stay tuned for the upcoming chapters and the videos. Till then, stay safe and thank you.